Hello everyone. So today we will be understanding about creating a GUI, a good GUI for your app. So to understand how to create a good user interface and a good GUI for your apps or anything, we have to first understand about XML. XML stands for extended markup language. And basically what you can do with XML is you can perfectly design, add buttons and you know, you can style your application in whatever way you like so that it is convenient for the user and it is convenient for the developer and it, and it should look good. So that is one of the most important things for your interface and basically it should be excellent. So what you can do here is uh, on the right side, if you can see, uh, I have my app, my prototype, which I'm going to demonstrate to you. And then we are going to focus on the XML codes. So what you can see is on your left side, I have a small menu uh, and which consists of the dashboard stats, income, expense, account, logout button, etc. And then you have something called as uh, your uh, income and then you have expense and then, you know, you have uh, a small you know overview of your in income and expense without any detail so basically in your uh, buttons you have you know you can just add your income or you can add your expense you know all of this is made by uh, a good user interface design so whatever you can see here like i have added a salary of thousand rupees and i have a small expense of 10 rupees uh, which i used for buying chocolate so now if i want to add another expense what i can do is um i want to add another 20 rupees so not big change and then you know you can just add it for a small i mean you know you can use it for a, a battery okay so then you know i'm just gonna put battery and then i'm just gonna save so what happens is you know this button i mean whatever i have added right now goes up and adds to the expense so there is a counter which is counting all the value of your expense and you know if even if you add an income you know you can uh, see the reflection here so you have many kinds of buttons here you know uh, add button minus button etc and then you know you can uh, you have the graph and then you have uh, the i mean the account statement of the income and the expenses so basically uh, if you want i can show you the graph so this is all made using user interface design so now let's uh, understand uh, the code and the XML part of how I designed this uh, small prototype. So as uh, you can see, firstly, what I have done here is uh, the first page, which I have written is activity home dot XML. So what he, what we can see here is the whole XML code, which uh, has the layout width, which is matching the parent. And then you have uh, the layout and then, you know, you have uh and then you have the uh, context you know how it is connected to the back end so then you have the width again you know about this app bar which is matching the parent obviously and then you know you have how you know you have something called as layout width which is uh for the width of your uh page and then you have something called as your android id which is connecting to your back end and then you have uh, many buttons you know or, or if you really want to see the uh, design yeah obviously you can see the design here whatever you want to do you can just go and alter this or you know you can just look at the uh, basic prototype you know this is just a static image of your prototype you know you can just edit here you can just look at look at how your app is going to look in after deployment or you know after uh, emulating it on your devices so basically you have everything so then you know if you come to this activity main.xml so i have designed this page for the login and logout part you know you have you have everything so you know you have a text view which consists of this you know the welcome back option and then you have something called as edit text which has this email content you know we have hints here which are used you know hint is just gonna um make your uh, i mean you know it's just gonna give a hint to what you can add in you can add inside the text field and then you have something called as password obviously for the login page and then you have a button so what this button does is this button uh, has an android id of b uh, button login you know btn underscore login so this is all connected to your um backend and this prototype is also made using firebase for the backend stuff 
so i'm just not going to focus on that so then you have again you have the text field which has the forget password and then you have uh, if you don't have an account please sign in which is gonna redirect you to some other place okay so like this i mean this is how the app actually starts with i mean this is how your app actually starts and then you know you have uh, the linear layout which is you know just gonna match with the parent so this is how it's gonna look uh, in the design and then you have something called as activity uh, registration okay so obviously as i told you uh, you know as soon as you click if you don't have an account this page comes in and if you want to look at the code you have the uh, text view edit text and in this edit text you have uh, i mean after the edit text you have the button and then you have the text field for i already have an account and so on so you know if you want to reset the password if you don't know the password again we have made a page for that so uh, yeah so for uh, resetting the password you have the registered email and then the otp is going to connect that is all about the back end so we are just not going to focus on that and then you have the splash screen so as soon as you open the app i mean you know as soon as you open the app the app should show the logo i mean just i mean i'm just going to show it uh, using a real time uh, example uh, so uh, one minute okay so as soon as you click this this part okay the exact part is here you know this is called as the splash screen so which is uh, which comes first I mean you know as soon as you open any app whatever functions is going on if it is loading or no uh, I mean when your app is loading this uh, splash screen is uh, seen so you have the app bar I mean, you know, it's all about the basic part of whatever is here. You know, you have the XML code for that if you want. And then, you know, it is a simple XML code. You know, you have, uh, I mean, some of uh, some part of the backend and, you know, some coloring and then, you know, dashboard. You have few buttons here. I mean, not buttons, you know, you have the view functions here, which you can you use. I mean, you know, we call it as widgets. Okay. So uh, then you have something called as content mail. So in this content mail, you know, you, whatever content is inside, you can just notice that and the uh, insert data. OK, so whenever you are inserting any data, as I showed here, if you want to add the income, you know, you can see this. So this is actually wrapped into uh, the main page. OK, so into the content main. So whatever is here and then we have created a good function for this and then you have the uh, expense dashboard so in this expense dashboard now this part comes okay i'm just going to cancel this see uh, the type amount and you know uh, the date is going to be showing here so this is so this part has another xml code if you want you can see you have the text view you have the uh, three types of text views and then you know this is how you're going to be aligning it you know you're using gravity i mean center uh, center push and all so then you have something called as dashboard income uh, for the income and the expense everything is different okay so uh, basically my bad you know uh, this one is for the expense so this is how it actually looks both are uh, the same thing so for the income you have the same thing you know you have the type amount and the date which is showed uh, expense recycler data okay so whatever is here okay uh, this part okay uh, I'm sorry about the expense yeah so you have uh, this part which is actually showed here so this is a small kind of database or an account statement in uh, finance words okay so then you have something called as fragment account you know uh, i mean about your account and then you have a small dashboard uh, so whatever is here so this is the dashboard and then you know uh, whatever things you add to item zero it will sh I, I mean you know it opens a box like this and it is directly connected you can just see this uh, the code is written you have the relative layout what relative layout does is it adds to uh, to xml codes to show on one another so this is how it works and then you have the expense again i'm just not going to focus on that you know we have something called as navigator header okay so this is all about the header part okay so you we are making it uh, differently because you know even if you want to do any kind of extra designs you can just go to this base uh, i mean this uh, header page and then you can directly design it so you have update data item you have these two types of buttons which we saw during uh, the expense adding or you know the expense deletion so you you know you have uh, i'm just gonna zoom it so you have amount enter if you want you can update it or you know if you want you can delete it so uh, this is how it works and then you have the menu bar the bottom menu uh everything so you know 
so this is how everything works the dashboard the navigation mission button and all so we have a basic uh, values.xml which is actually used for uh, fire basing stuff so that is all about the backend and uh, then you know all of this uh, gradle is built so this is how your app actually works and then you have uh, the drawables so drawable has all the resources okay so the images you can see on the on i mean you know just next to the emulator and then you have a uh, launcher background i mean so you know as soon as you launch the app you have this button and then you know you have the foreground you have the splash splash screen so this is how everything works and uh, basically this is the java code which is being showed here but uh, yeah this is all about uh, the user interface design so the main focus on design should be uh, making the design efficient and uh, it should be uh, i mean you know it should never cause frustration to the user okay so like it should be so minimalistic and uh, uh, it should be very easy to understand so this is how everything is made and uh, we have showed you a small prototype thank you